Hi folks, uh, I'm going to show you how to repair a touchpad on a GE Cafe over the range microwave model number CVM 2072 SMC uh, We bought this about a year and a half ago uh, A couple of days ago, couldn't get the touchpad to work at all All I did was show you how to put a time entry into it uh, We did numerous things, we checked out YouTube videos Contacted the supplier uh, Still didn't get no headway with it, so I've been thinking with it all day and I'm just going to show you a simple fix that I found. Uh, if you're mechanically inclined, you should be able to do this no problem. First thing you need to do is remove the microwave from over the range, which is a bit of a hassle, but it's got to be done on this model because the screws that need to come out and slide the top plate off, as I'll show you in a second, uh, it's got to be removed. So these two screws, there's one here, this is in the front on the top of the microwave. You remove that. You remove the second one. Once those are out, you just take the top of the bar, slot it to the left, and it just pops out like so. This you can put to one side, then it needs to go back on. Once you get that off, over here on the right hand side, you're going to see one screw. You back that screw off, like so. Make sure you're keeping all your screws in the one place so you know where to go back. This just pops up like so and pops out. And as you can see the clips are here. Just go in these slots when you're sliding them back in. What you need to do next is remove all of these clips. And they're easy to go back because each clip can only go in one slot. So you can't make a mistake. Just remember that when you put this back one in, you'll see the blue goes on the back and the clear color is in the front. Once you get that done, you can just leave it as it is. There's a screw here, a screw here, a screw here, and two screws here. So what you do is you take out these screws. Like this. Behind this, no problem. We'll get that when we turn it upside down. Fourth screw here. And there's one here. So there's five screws in this plate. Now these are just feed cables for the for the control panel. As you can see, there's a blue ridge here. What you do is just hold on to the board, put your finger in behind, haul it straight up, put it back. Do the same thing on this side, haul it straight up, pull it back. You should be able to remove this whole unit. You just lay this to one side. Well, actually, I'm going to take my screws out. There's the other screw. Here's the one that fell in behind. Now, this is your keyboard pad right here. And what I did was Remove this one screw right here. That one side. This just slides back and over to the right. It goes off. And this is the same thing here. You pinch this right here, you hold the board, and you just pull straight down. Now what I've discovered is these leads, this is the front of it and this is the back of it. This lead, these leads that plug in for these cables get a build up of dirt on them. So what I did was I took a, a rubbing alcohol and a small cotton swab which I'll demonstrate in a second. And so when you're ready you take a bit of rubbing alcohol. I just put a little bit in the cap. I put a little bit on top of the Q-tip. You don't need to soak it. Just take it and gently rub it back and forth. Back and forth on the leads. Once you get that done, you flip your Q-tip to the opposite side and you draw it off. And you do this with all three leads. This one here, not a bit of rubbing alcohol. Swipe them on. Swipe them off. 
And then you do the same thing with the third one. Swipe a little bit of alcohol on it. You wipe it off. You give this, I already have this done. So I'm just redoing it just to show you guys. Uh, you give it a little bit of time to dry. Put the cap back on this, of course, so you don't make a mess. So once you got the dog put back in place, you simply take your card and you start assembling it again. So this cable here, just take your time. You feel it. It gets a little bit stiff. Sometimes it's a, it'll be very gentle with it. Push it in, take your time, you see, you'll feel it snapping in. Just take your time and make sure we reseed it all the way in, right through. And that's that cable in there. So what you do once that cable is in, you place it down, you can see a little slot right here. You slot it down here and then when you slot it back this way, and then slot it back, there you have a clip here. A clip here which keeps it in on this side. And you'll put that one screw back here on the right corner. And that keeps it all down in place. don't need to go too tight, just a little hand tight, plenty tight for it. Once you have that done, you take your main board, you put that back in place. You see where it sits over the holes. What I like to do at this stage here, is I'll put one on the outside, but don't tighten it all the way. There we go. And put one in on the opposite back corner. You do the same thing, don't tighten it all the way. Once you have those two screws, screws sitting in place, you go ahead and put the other three in. Once again, just put them all in hand tight for now, or loose for now, until you have them all in place, then tighten them down. Now I'll put the last one in, I'll tighten this one here first. Hand tight, and like that, and then I'll cross over to the top on the opposite side. Tighten that. Cross over to the opposite side again. And the same, I mean the same side on the top. Back down to this corner over here. This way you're making sure your board's seating correctly and she's not sliding back and forth. And it keeps the board from breaking up when you just go crisscross back and forth like that. So once you have that place, you take your blue clip, the bottom one here. And you line it up at the top of the, the plug. Take it down, push it down. Make sure she's seated all the way down. And you do the same with this one here. in place, press it down, make sure she's seated all the way down. Once you have that done, you can start putting your plugs back in. Once again, there's two plugs here, two plugs here, one on this side, and two leads right here. These here cannot be, cannot be messed up because they only go in one way and they only got so many leads in them, so you cannot put the wrong plug in the wrong place. Just take your time, Put them in, clip them in one at a time. You hear them clipping like that. Then you'll go for the next one, which would be this one here. Just take your time and clip that down in place. And then we got these two here. This pink one and white one, and this one white one here. I'll just take this white one and put this in place. You'll feel the clip in place so you know it's in solid. Clip that one in place. Now we have these two leads right here. Remember I said the clear one goes in the front. There's a uh, guide right here which prevents you from putting it on incorrect. 
she puts it in place, slide that down, and the same thing with the blue one. There's a guard on that side, which always goes towards the bottom. Once you have that in place, you just give a little check, make sure all the plugs are sitting correctly. Check your cables once again a little bit. Now, slide this back in place. Make sure all your wires go inside. Run at the pinch nut. Do your cable right here. And you should be able to just lift it up, slide it back down in place. Take your set screw, which I put over here. Line up your hole. Line up your screen with your hole here. There we go. Screw that back in place, hand tight. Now let's see what we got. Oh, I forgot this from the beginning. Make sure your power is not on. It's disconnected before you take the panel off. So we're going to just plug her back in here. Wait for a few seconds so I should get a set the clock screen. There we go. Enter. PM. Enter. There we go. Cook. Back. Reheat. Back. Defrost. Back. I've already tried it out. Uh, all the functions are working. The off button, the on button. It's all working. So I uh, hope this guy's help. Hope this helps you out, guys. And uh, good luck with it.